All right, everybody, what is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back, you fellas. Here we are, Black Ops Cold War Eve. The game is dropping tonight at midnight, but already a plethora of information, news, and information has been leaked about the game. We know everything. We know all the score streaks. We know all the perks. We know all the field upgrades, all the weapons. Pretty much everything is out for public consumption. And the rumors, I regret to inform you guys, the rumors are true about the VSAT not being in Black Ops Cold War at launch. We don't know if we'll see it later as some DLC, who knows, but at launch, there will be no VSAT, man. Remember the leak first came out from the long sensation, Tom Henderson. He came out here and said some score streaks are missing and looks like the VSAT is gone. Look at this riot shield guy, man. What? Wait a minute, bro. What just happened? Look how fast I got killed by this dude. <laughs> Yo. It's like his riot shield was up, and then I was just instantly dead. I didn't even see him flip the riot shield behind him. Like, what's up with that? <laughs> but anyway, man, what happened, dude? Thank this game almost dead, fellas. Almost over. Who's uninstalling this game? I just want to know right now. Who's uninst completely uninstalling Modern Snorfare tonight at midnight? Let me know down in the comment section. Like I said, I don't even think you need this game to play Warzone. You could just play it right from uh, from the Black Ops Cold War menu. Uh, but anyway, damn, where was I, bro? That Riot Shield guy completely messed me up. <laughs> it's just so weird, so suspect of a death. But uh, yeah, Long Sensation came out and said there's no VSAT after they showed it to us in the beta. Like, how are you going to show us a VSAT in the beta then take it away, man? You trying to play me, Treyarch? Trey, we got played. How many people saw that VSAT and were like, oh yeah, there's a VSAT in the game, I'm buying it. And, and now they're trying to play us. Either 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 subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. What in the world? Yo, <laughs> the throwing knife cheese, man. I gotta start using the throwing knife, man. Is the throwing knife that good, really? Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, so no VSAT in the game, fellas. So here's what is in the game, though. Uh, the full score streak list has been uh, leaked or shown or well put out there. The whole score streak list has been put out there, man. I'm sick and tired of saying leaked for every little thing, man. So here we go. The score streaks. Check it out, fellas. Ooh, a big picture of the gunship. Yeah, man, because Treyarch, they make a, a real good gunship, man. Uh, Treyarch's thing used to be Cujo's, Raps, Swarm. Now they just take Infinity Ward streaks. I just don't like the gunship in Treyarch COD games, man. To me, the gunship is an Infinity Ward streak. The Cujo's. You know what I'm saying? The Swarm. Like, that's Treyarch, man. The Treyarch, keep it authentic, dude. Now, here's the score streak list, fellas. No VSAT on here. Like I said, hopefully we'll see it back as DLC. Who knows? But here we go. So the combat bow is going to be the first streak you earn. The Outrider combat bow. Uh, pretty much that is a special stability. And I think it's like uh, one of the few special abilities that have been turned into score streaks. Uh, a bunch of them got thrown out. They got rid of the flamethrower. They got rid of the death machine. Uh, they got rid of the gold gun. So a lot of the streaks we had in the beta, five of them to be exact, or, or six, they're, they've been removed. I don't know if they're going to come back as DLC. Who knows? But the combat bow is there. And of course, you've got the RC car. God forbid Treyarch ever make a game without the RC car. <laughs> 800 score remote control car strapped with explosives. Oh yeah, and the combat bow, arrows, burn targets, and the surrounding area. Cool down, 120 seconds. So you're going to be shooting some uh, Rambo flaming bow and arrows at people. All the noobs are going to get that. All the noobs are going to get that RC car. All the noobs are going to get their spy plane. There you go. Are we going to see spy plane spam, fellas? Probably. We'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, then after the spy plane. So, a thousand score. Reveal enemy positions through the fog of war. Cool down 90 seconds. And you've got the counter spy plane. Scramble enemy minimaps. Disable hostile missile turrets for a short time. Cool down 60 seconds. Wait a minute. Scramble enemy minimaps and disable hostile missile turrets? So it's going to take out Sam turrets too? Yo, so a little twist to the spy plane this year, fellas. It's not just going to scramble uh, mini-maps. It's also going to mess with the uh, Sam turrets. Okay. You guys know Sam turrets is a field upgrade in this game. I'm going to get to that later. Listen, so much stuff came out. Like, honestly, I've got enough content for probably five videos today. I'm going to try and do three. I'm going to try and squeeze three videos in today, fellas. This is the first one. But there's a whole lot of content, a whole lot of uh, information out there, plenty of stuff to make videos on. So I'm going to be getting busy today. You know what I'm saying, fellas? I'm going to be getting busy. <laughs> so the counter spy plane looks pretty cool. And then we've got this body armor. No, no, I don't want to see this, man. I'm not no damn momentator. What do I need body armor for, son? 
I don't need no B vest. 60 hundred score. Reduce incoming bullet damage. Garen damn T, this ain't gonna work against snipers. Snipers will still rip through this like wet tissue paper. Garen damn T. Reduce incoming bullet damage. It should put in parentheses right after that. Not not snipers. <laughs> it won't affect sniper bullets have immunity. Destroyed after it absorbs too much damage. Cool down 120 seconds. Like I said, man, this is only going to mess with reg gunners, shotgunners. This will not all you snipers out there crying. Oh, no, juggernauts. Man. <laughs> oh, my God. No, just, trust me. This will not affect you. I, if I was a betting man, I would bet everything I own that snipers will still be one shotting people with body armor on. Guaranteed. So all the noobs are going to have their spy plane, the RC car, their flaming crossbow. The body armor, you know what I'm saying? You guys are all set, man. Noobs, try are taking care of you, man. <laughs> okay, and, and the next streak coming up, the care package. This is what I'm going to be running 24-7, especially with the way the new uh, participation trophy streak works. You're going to be able to get a care package at least once or twice every single game, no matter how terrible you're playing. Care package, 1,800 score, airdrop a random score streak, crate self-destructs after use, cool down 90 seconds. Wait a minute, man. Hold up now. The crate self-destructs after you use it. Am I going to get blown up by my care package 24-7 the same way I was getting blown up by the ammo box here in Call of Corner, Modern Claymore? Yo, come on, man. <laughs> Wait a minute, fellas. Maybe I won't be running the care package 24-7. <laughs> the crate. <laughs> Imagine that you pick up your streak and you just get blown up. Stupid. And the next streak we got after the self destructing care package is the sentry turret. 2000 score. Deploy a deadly automated turret that targets enemy planes, vehicles, and equipment. Cool down 60 seconds. What about players? Does it shoot at players too? It just says planes, vehicles, and equipment. Yeah, I'm all set with the sentry turret. If it's not going to shoot at the uh, players, I don't care about uh, if it shoots at planes or vehicles or equipment, man. I want to shoot at the uh, other players, too, man. Sentry turret. They better reprogram that to actually shoot at the enemy teammates, too, man. Uh, Napalm strike. This was one of my favorite streaks from Black Ops 1. 2100 score. Launch a targeted carpet bomb strike of explosive napalm. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that looks so good. I love the napalm strike. I still remember setting all the bushwookie ghost dudes on fire back in the Black Ops 1 era. It was so beautiful. Uh, artillery 2500 score. Launch a targeted airstrike on three locations. Unused strikes can be saved for later. Ooh, cool down 30 seconds. Cruise missile. Steer a trio of missiles with boost and air brake control. Secondary missile fire at painted targets. All right, so we got the artillery strike, the cruise missile, and then we've got this, man. This is the dumbest streak in the game. This is... How are you going to put this in over the VSAT, man? Air patrol? Come on, bro. Call in a squadron of jets to attack enemy score streaks. Counter other enemy air patrols. Bro, this is so dumb. What do you need this streak in the game for, man? Take this out of here. How does this streak make the cut? Get rid of air patrol and give us back our VSAT, damn it. First of all, you don't even need air patrol, man. It is so easy to shoot down streaks in this game. Let me demonstrate. Oh, my, the tank hunter class. This is what you want to use to shoot down stuff. Watch this. <laughs> oh, I took out that chopper in a heartbeat, man. <laughs> I took out that chopper in a damn heartbeat, man. <laughs> Yeah, boys. That's what's up. So there you go, fellas. I just melted an att uh, enemy attack chopper in like five seconds with the uh, LMG class, the uh, tank hunter class, the bullets that have the vehicle damage, basically like FMJ2 from Black Ops 4. Air patrol is so dumb. Anyway, man, war machine coming back, high explosive grenade launcher. We all saw that in the beta. That was one of the best streaks in the beta. Then we got the attack chopper. Then we got the chopper gunner. Yes, the chopper gunner is back. The chopper gunner made the cut. And I'm glad the attack helicopter made the cut, too. You got to have a chopper in COD. Uh, I would like to see a Pavlo in here, too. Like, two different types of choppers, but whatever. We got the chopper gunner. Uh, will it be chopper gunner time when the game drops? I hope so, man. We didn't see no chopper gunner time in the beta. I couldn't get one, fellas. I'm sorry, man. The, my, my lobbies were gladiator academies, man. I mean, you already seen it. My lobbies had more advanced movement going on than advanced warfare. I mean, they was playing for the imaginary million-dollar cash prize, man, every game. It was insane. Uh, we got the VTOL Escort uh, Street coming back. And we got the gunship. So no VSAT, no Cujos. Uh, I don't know. I mean, this score streak list looks all right. I mean, I, I heard that the Sniper's Nest was supposed to be in this game too, man. Where's the Sniper's Nest at, Treyarch? Oh, my goodness. What do you guys think of this score streak list? Drop it down in the comments section. 
Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm going to run yet here. Uh, we'll, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, fellas. Uh, <laughs> I don't know which one of these streaks is going to be my, my favorite streak. Like I said, the Chopper Gunner, if I could get it. <laughs> It all depends on how the skill-based matchmaker is hitting. But if I could, if, like, back in Black Ops 1, fellas, I get Chopper Gunner almost every game. <laughs> but Black Ops 1, the skill-based matchmaker was a whole different animal, man. It's completely different now. We'll see. I, I know I'm definitely good. The care package might be my streak this time around, fellas. Yeah, yeah, the care package. Maybe I get a Chopper Gunner off the care package. You suck. But, yeah, the... the <laughs> the care package is definitely going to be my go-to streak in this game. So let me read this uh, to you guys real quick about how the score streaks work. Treyarch took a lot of the feedback from the beta and did some score streak earn rate adjustments, fellas. So check this out. The earn rate. With the way the previous system worked, many players were earning low-end score streaks, such as a spy plane and counter spy plane, at roughly the same rate. This meant that for the duration of the match, low-end score streaks were constantly being spammed. Yes, anyone who played the beta already knows. <laughs> I mean, my, I still have a stiff neck from staring up at the sky, shooting down so many spy planes. It was like MW3-esque. That's so that The spy plane spam was insane. So Treyarch has acknowledged this and has adjusted the earn rate so that low-end score streaks won't be called in as often. Thank you. Although low-end kill streaks were too easy to earn, High-end kill streaks such as a chopper gunner were too difficult. Absolutely, like I said, I couldn't earn one of them. It, it was ridiculous. <laughs> so Treyarch increased the score bonus threshold at 10 kill and 15 kill streaks to make high streaks feel more rewarding and to help boost score to higher-end score streaks. So high kill streaks will now be more effective in helping to earn a high-end score streak. So the cost of score streaks has also been adjusted, although no details on the new values have been released. To further reduce score streak spam and to allow for more interesting player choices and strategy, Treyarch has added a variation to the score streak cooldowns. It appears that different score streaks will now have different individual cooldown timers. So there you go, fellas. The low stuff, you won't be seeing as much spam, and the high stuff, it'll be easier to get because they put that bonus in there at the 10 kill and the 15 kill. So we'll see how it all plays out, fellas. Game's going to be dropping tonight, but this is the score streak list. Nothing really new on here. Nothing really exciting on here. It's just more of the same stuff we're used to. Uh, it could have been worse, though. It could have been worse. Uh, at least we got a few decent streaks in there. Oh, yeah, guys, and before I end this... They also nerfed the chopper gunner, man. The chopper gunner is still in the game, but they nerfed it. So they got rid of the VSAT. There's no Cujos. They did bring the chopper gunner, but they nerfed it. So check this out, man. The attack helicopter and chopper gunner have been tweaked from the beta. Treyarch has increased attack helicopter damage from a five hit to a three hit kill. Oh, that's good. But they slightly reduced the chopper gunner duration and damage. No. And players can now see a numerical value for how much more score they need to earn their equipped score streaks. Cursor and speed player visibility have both been improved on the score streak tablet. How about on the map, dude? Is player visibility improved on the map or just on the tablet, bro? Because I couldn't see nobody. Your boy Thunder was running Bird Box Pro in that beta, man. Yo, they nerfed the chopper gunner, bro. Oh, my goodness. No VSAT, no Cujos, and they nerfed the chopper gunner. Oh, my goodness, man. Anyway, we'll have to see how this all plays out. Uh, who's hyped for tonight, man? Anybody excited? <laughs> Thank you guys all so much for watching. And I'll see you on the next one, man.